three simple online ESL games. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi, my name is Gemma Perry and welcome to Mooncake, where ESL teaching is made easy. If you're new here, then you need to know that I make weekly ESL teaching tip videos to help you improve your English teaching. So if you are teaching ESL online or abroad, make sure you subscribe below and hit that notification bell for weekly ESL teaching tips. Also, real quick, if you are new here, say hi in the comments below and let me know where in the world you're teaching. Ever sit down to plan your ESL lesson and then suddenly your mind just goes blank? Yeah, happens a lot. So today I want to share three simple online ESL games to help you with your lesson planning. So let's get started. For this activity, all you're going to need are some flashcards or pictures of your target vocabulary. To get started, review that target vocabulary one by one, laying out the flashcards of each word as you do. Banana, banana, oh, oh, oh. banana, banana, oh, oh, oh. apple, apple, oh, oh. apple, apple. Oh. Next, start the game by saying, I went to market and I bought, and then picking one of your key words. For example, I went to market and I bought some bananas. Next, your student then repeats that back to you. I went to market and I bought some bananas, and then adds on an extra word. For example, I went to market and I bought some bananas and apples. Keep going again and again until your list gets really long and either you or your student forgets one. Now you can make this game either harder or easier by either removing the flashcards as you use those words or leaving them in place. Think about your students and their level and what would be best for them. This game is super simple and to play all you're going to need are some pictures or flashcards of your target vocabulary. Start by reviewing your flashcards one by one using chance and TPR as you do. Next, you're going to place three flashcards out for your students to see, using a sentence as you do. I like to eat bananas, bananas, hmm. I like to eat apples, oh, apples. Oh. Make sure that one card really stands out and sounds particularly odd when used with that sentence. I like to eat cars, beep, beep, cars, beep, beep. Ask your students which one they think is the odd one out and depending on their level, you can have them use that word in the correct sentence. For this activity, all you're going to need are two pictures of your target vocabulary with some subtle differences. Now you can make these differences as obvious or subtle as you like depending on your student's level. Start by introducing that key vocabulary one by one, again using chance and TPR as you do. Next, introduce two similar looking flashcards and ask students to spot the difference. Try and encourage students to reply using a set sentence structure. For example, this one has, this one doesn't have. What's hmm. the difference? What's the difference? Hmm. hmm. What can you see? Hmm. What difference? This one has hmm. color and this one doesn't have color. Bing, 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 bing. Good job. Be sure to adjust the difficulty and sentence structures to suit your student's level of English. So there you have it, three simple online ESL games to help you with your lesson planning. If you like this video, then go ahead and hit that like button and comment with the word helpful in the comments below. If you're looking for more fun ESL game ideas, then make sure you check out some of my other videos right here. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Or if you're looking for some teacher resources such as flashcards or PPT presentations, then make sure you check out the Mooncake English webpage linked below. Other than that, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell for more weekly ESL teaching tips from Mooncake.